casual here. This week I was feeling a little burnt out on playing with builds until a friend said, try this. So I did. And I tweaked it a bit, and suddenly I'm having a blast. Big explosions, turrets of death, a gear set I shouldn't be using, and CT15 easy mode clears. Wellspring in 11 minutes, anyone? Let's get into it. Before I do though, a quick shout out to Jess Carlson who suggested this build. If you'd like me to look at your build, hit the like button and drop your suggestion in the comments. This is a turret build but with a difference. Turrets are typically run with anomaly builds but I'm running it with the Borealis Monarch gear. So this is a firepower build, but it's not. Because my main weapon is my very own RPG, the Jugular, modded with scrap grenade and grand opening. One shot for big damage, then reload. You aren't going to run out of ammo with this build. I'm using my Blighted and Cryo turrets to apply freeze and toxic to enemies. Twins gives me an additional Cryo turret while enriched anthrax and increased damage buff the damage the turrets do. Worth noting that with this build increased damage does perform better than hail shot. Damage to enemies afflicted by freeze and toxic is buffed by shatter, freezing boost, euthanizer, radical therapy and of course by the Borealis Monarch gear set. A spicy 170% damage increase ignoring any multiplicative effects. Captain Hunter adds another 25% damage buff against elites, while exposing Frost and Mark for execution from my class tree add another 35% damage buff. And how do we leverage that? Yes, our turrets do pack a punch. Our juggler RPG will do well over 1 million damage a shot to a debuffed enemy. But to clear an elite quickly, I pop my Moaning Winds Radiation Splash new and hit for 3, 4, 5 and even over 6 million of damage. And if that's not enough, I'm also running Cold Snap with Icicle Storm, which clears groups of enemies in the most satisfying way. For stats, I'm running a hybrid build. The helmet, chest and legs of the Biodis Monic set comes with bonus firepower, status power and long range damage. For the other two pieces, I'm focusing on anomaly power, status power and cooldown reduction. The final mod I'm using is Stand Tall, which buffs both my firepower and anomaly power. I would much prefer to be using power assimilation here, but I'm looking for the needle in the haystack needing one specific specific tier 1 mod on a perfectly rolled pair of epic gloves in order to bring this in. With the increased number of elite enemies and new content, power simulation will outperform stand tool, but it's not an awful fill-in. I am also buffing my anomaly power through the standard class tree nodes. Similar to my gear though, I am using a hybrid class tree, picking up further buffs to anomaly power through adrenalizing antenna and overclock. Damage done to frozen enemies through fracture. My favorite execution node, wipeout, as well as buffs to my max health, healing, armor and resistance. It is because of these and the incredible crowd control you have for this build, I don't need to run any survivability mods. With 23,000 health, 59% physical damage reduction and 20% resistance, and the ability to freeze every enemy on the field, I don't need any more help staying alive. Now if you find that you do, then throw on damage absorber or pick up some gear with max health on it. This is a really fun build to play and so much more than just a turret build. There is something incredibly satisfying from blowing up enemies with just one shot and burning down elites in no time at all. In expeditions with the time wave sections, this build shines being able to keep enemies out of the circle with ease due to its top tier crowd control. Until next time, casual out.